In this video, I want to show you how you can record a whiteboard style video using Screencast-O-Matic and um, a tool like OneNote. I'm on my Surface Pro, so it's going to let me write on my screen in this one board, in this OneNote um, to kind of create this whiteboard style video for my students. So in order to do that, I'm going to open up Screencast-O-Matic. So I go to screencastomatic.com and I'm going to hit here let's go let's go there. I'm going to hit start recording for free and then launch free recorder. This takes a second to load in your browser. Oops, I've already got it open. I was doing this before. Let me close that. Launch free recorder. And we should get the black and white here open screen recorder launcher we should get the black and white outline on the screen which is going to indicate that it's ready to start recording there we go so it's asking me what i want to record right because it's going to record that area in the black and white outline so here's where i switch over to OneNote, and i position this in a way that's going to fit that um, drawing area and that'll be good for now um, of course I have my whiteboarding my OneNote tools so you know you choose whichever color and style you're going to be using um, for your video and then I'm going to hit record once I'm ready to record of course I have the same screencast-o-matic um, options here as I explained in the previous video once I hit recording, I'll have 15 minutes. I can see it's detecting my audio. If I wanted to, I could switch to webcam or switch back and forth with webcam and screen um, by doing both. I'm going to keep it simple. Just do my webcam video or just do my whiteboarding video. Um, and let's go for it. So I'm going to hit record and it'll count me down. Okay, so here's a little example of a uh, whiteboarding video. So I'm in OneNote right now. And let me share with you kind of our plan for this video is one, we are recording with Screencast-O-Matic. So that's the tool that I'm recording with right now. Um, I'm actually recording OneNote. So I'm using OneNote, Microsoft's OneNote. Um, that's what's kind of inside of the dotted line that is my recording area for Screencast-O-Matic. And that's what's allowing me to do the um, whiteboarding style writing here that you're seeing because I have my stylus and my touch screen. So that's what um, you're seeing there. What I'm going to do when I'm finished recording this in Screencast-O-Matic is save it as an mp4 file to my local computer. So it'll be saved on my laptop here um, locally. Then I'm going to log in to YouTube and I will upload my video that is um, lo local here. I'm going to upload it to my YouTube account so that th the video will then be in the cloud in YouTube, right? That's where it'll get captions added. Um, and that is where I can, in my Canvas course, link to it. So it won't live in my Canvas course, but I will link to that same YouTube um, link in my Canvas course. So that's kind of a general overview of what's going to happen with this video once I hit pause uh, to stop recording. So let's go ahead and do that now. Thanks every for everybody for watching this little demo of uh, OneNote recorded in Screencast-O-Matic. By the way, I could move to another page and do page two. That would be how I OneNote lets me do other pages, right? And then go back to page one. So it would let me have more recording space there if I had needed it. So, all right, thanks for watching. So I go ahead and I hit that pause button. You can see it was about two and a half minutes of recording there. I'm done, I'm gonna hit done. 
And in Screencast-O-Matic, I'm going to hit Save and Upload. So like I said, in this one, similar to the last one, I always immediately look and make sure I got audio, which I did. Um, this one I'm going to save as a video file instead of going directly to YouTube, just so you can see that process as well. So that's this step two of our process here. So we're going to do MP4 recording. Here we'll do OneNote whiteboard and save to desktop. So I'm going to let that publish. Um, it's just saving a local MP4 file here on my desktop computer. Okay, so as you can see, that video has finished publishing. It now is data on the desktop of this computer. I can hit done here. Now I need to upload that data to YouTube. So the next step is to log into your YouTube channel. I'm already here and you'll find the create button, this plus button with the video icon to allow you to upload a video. Do that and then go out and select that mp4 file. So OneNote whiteboard, there it is. It's about four megs and I'm going to open that. And now I can give it a title that makes more sense. Demo of whiteboard video in OneNote. And this is recorded with Screencast-O-Matic. And it's going to ask me if this is recorded for children. No, it's not made for kids. Go to next. And I don't need to do anything here. I'm going to say next. Here's where you decide if it's public and visible to everybody on your channel or is it unlisted and you'll just share the link to the students in your class. That's your option there. I'm keeping mine public. Then I hit publish and you'll see this getting processed. Um, and I'll let that run here. Actually, let's do close because we'll already see that getting processed there. So now I can see that it's, it's sitting at pending um, and that just means that there's other stuff in the queue right now. Um, so let me hang tight here and wait for that to finish processing in YouTube. I'm going to go ahead and hit the refresh button here so that we can reload this page and see if there's any update. Yeah, so that now is showing that it's complete. Um, there it is. I can open this up. It looks blank because it starts out as a blank video. Um, I'm going to hit the play button. Okay, so here's a little example of this. It's kind of inside that um, you're seeing there. So there we go. It's up on YouTube. It's not captioned yet, so I can come back and check for the auto captions. But then this is the link then that I would share, copy, and paste in my Canvas shell. So I can do that. So that's a real quick demo of Screencast-O-Matic, recording OneNote, saving it locally, uploading to YouTube, and then um, the rest is pasting it in a Canvas course or sending that link to students or however you want to get that to students. Thanks so much for watching.